Beef Boy is back because today we are making the Flying Dutchman Burger, which has been a viral sensation for the past few weeks. Uh, it's from In-N-Out Burger, a popular West Coast burger chain, and it's simply a burger using onions as the bun. So you take two thick slices of onion, put a patty in between, and there's other accoutrements and different ways people do it. And I never actually tried in and out uh, even when I was in California. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll have to go poop my pants and try it out next time, huh? But this is going to be a high-quality version. So although we're basically using the same ingredients, uh, there's going to be a few tips here and there. And basically, it's going to make it something that you can eat every day on a consistent basis if you wanted to. Uh, although I prefer regular bread, burger buns now in my diet, but you could still do it this way. Now excuse my childish humor, but I had to do it. We got the two onions, the meat, and the cheese on the tip. I mean, to me it was too funny not to do it, but um, that's where my mind's at today, guys. I need some help. So uh, we got the biggest organic onions from the bag at the grocery store. Uh, they only had organic yellow onions, so uh, that's what we had at Wegmans. So hopefully we get some nice slices out of there. I forgot to bring home the best burger blend from Frankie's Free Range Meat. Thankfully, I had some local 9010 in the fridge. Might not turn out as tasty, but it's still okay. And also, I had a chunk of leftover American cheddar. Uh, we do have about half the cheeses on stock on the meat website. We actually just uh, brought back all the Amish cheeses restocked today if you guys do want to put cheese on your burger. What we're doing differently is I'm going to use our beef stock concentrate that we have uh, to slowly simmer the onions because I think it's going to be really greasy if, if you fry these onions in oil, but we'll see how that turns out. And if you do need to put a little oil like we will for the burger so it doesn't stick, you know, you can use beef tallow, wagyu tallow. These, these are a little beefy, uh, redundantly. Uh, so I sometimes like using a neutral coconut oil uh, because it doesn't add too much extra flavor. It doesn't taste like it's super greasy and heavy. And whether you want to use salt or Frankie's steak seasoning, it will turn out delicious either way. But the steak seasoning is definitely going to give it a nice kick. This is onion, garlic, and mushroom. Uh, you can really put this on anything. I love it on potatoes. You know, I haven't sharpened my knives recently, so I'm not sure how this is going to turn out, but I will try my best. So a sharp knife. Go gently but forcefully down the entire onion. Kind of cutting the end off there. I would say this, this piece is maybe half an inch thick. So this is pretty good, but it's the most nerve wracking thing about this recipe is keeping these onions together like this. I'm sure there's some chef techniques you could use, maybe even freeze them. But when we go to cook this, it's probably just gonna, gonna fall apart. And I'm sure the freshness of the onion has a lot to do with how well it sticks together when you're cutting it. Now this onion is oddly shaped, but actually looks like it would work a lot better for for this recipe because you can get maybe two or three burgers out of this one. You know, on onions are really pungent, so you could cut a thicker slice, but even even two thin slices of onion like this, I feel like are way too much for the burger. Like from, a, from a, just a flavor perspective. Out of ring, you don't even really have to peel off. It just comes off itself. Scraps, you know, chop this up, use it for whatever recipe you want. I still have not bought a cheese grater, so I can just microplane this. Okay, so again, this is the local ground beef we have on Frankie's Strange Meat. Really just any ground beef. So we took three chunks of beef off the one pound, and we're just going to roll them up into balls and, and put them on a dry, clean towel. Or you know, if you got some dirty Spanish girls, have them wipe themselves with the towel before you put the burgers on them, or hey, dirty Spanish boys to each their own. Now you could form these into patties, but it's a little easier to just do smash burger style where you smush them into the pan. So a little powder of our steak seasoning on each side, then a little bit of salt. You could season in the pan too, doesn't really matter. All right, so our prep work is done. We have our onion slices, our burger balls, and our cheese. We're gonna turn on two pans, one for the onions and one for the burgers. In the back pan, we're gonna put some of our beef broth. You guys can see this is very gelatinous. This is the highest quality beef stock that is available online. 
frankiesyringemeat.com. Nothing else like it on the market. And then here I'm just going to use the coconut oil. Right away I'm just going to put these onions in the pan. I'm going to cover this to kind of steam them and cook them quicker. You know, we don't want to really boil this. We just want a moderate, gentle simmer, cooking them mediumly. Mediumly, is that a word? Now, I'm not going to really do smash burgers because I want these to be a little thicker and to be rare in the middle, but this is kind of the technique that you can use for them. So you have the ball of meat. You put it in a very, very, very hot pan. This pan might not be hot enough, for smash burgers, but we're doing it anyway. And then you take your spatula and you smash it down with a dowel or something. Now, the difference between this and a smash burger is smash burger, you go all the way as hard as possible. This, what I did here is just, just, a, regular, I'm gonna, just a regular burger. I'm gonna try to make these about as thick as the onion. See, look at that, I accidentally flipped it, but because we dried that patty out in the towel and the pan's pretty hot, literally caramelized in five, 10 seconds. You wanna to try to go a little bigger than the onion because they do shrink when they cook, but I don't think we're gonna cook these that much. Smell amazing with that steak seasoning on them. So basically one side caramelized 10, 15 seconds, flip them over, turn the heat off, take them off the heat. We can move these uh, onions to the front burner. Looks like they uh, steamed up a bit. And the steam's like coming out. Like little onion volcano, that's pretty cool. Not good for the purpose of, of our recipe, but looks pretty cool. <laughs> All right, now the real question is, how do we delicately flip these without uh, ruining them? What if we just go under it, hold the fork down, and flip? Okay. That's, that's somewhat reasonable. Bro, honestly, like, who wants to do this shit? Like, come on. Like, look, look, look. It's, I was so gentle, and I'm still playing piece to onion together. And I can't tell if this piece flipped over or not. Like, is that like that or that? Okay, that looks like it goes like that. I'm playing fucking... I'm playing puzzle pieces with an onion while the rest of them are overcooking. Like, this is, this is why recipes like this, this is why you're supposed to just make bread and have bread with your burger instead of being a freaking liver failure ketogenic freakazoid. All right, that one's gonna stay like that because I'm about to overcook the rest of these. It's not easy, boys. It's not easy. It's a fucking, it's a fucking onion, dude. It's not meant. Well, I mean, to be fair, this outer layer, we should have probably taken off anyway. I feel like this would be really good between two slices of bread, you know? All right, well, we got them flipped over. It looks like our, uh, our beef stock is kind of evaporated. So I'm just gonna put a little water in here. You could put a little more beef stock, but it's up to you. We're gonna season these onions with some salt before we forget. So now instead of having a greasy onion, you will have a wet onion. Since you're poaching these in beef stock, you're kind of like diluting the onion flavor a bit. You're taking some of that sharpness, some of that bite out of the onion. I, I don't think more than a few minutes on each side is going to be necessary for this. Honestly, I bet you this would taste good even with a raw onion. If it was like thin enough, it'd be good, raw onion. So we're just going to take our burgers out of the pan and right onto the onions. Little cheese on one of them. All right, we made it this far. Maintain our patience. <laughs> Maintain our patience <laughs> and finish up the video without having a conniption, Frank. Ah! Fuck. Fuck. Dude. I need like I need like a I need a Native American girl with like lifelong artistic fingers to to do these recipes for me. You know, she's been like stitching bison leather her whole life. That's what I need. You know, guys, is my, I always forget like, sometimes I have my arm here and my arm's in focus the whole time so you guys can't see what I'm doing, which is very amateur hour of me. But since 
I can only muster up the, the energy to do a cooking video every month now. I always forget to fix it. Looks pretty good. I don't think that cheese, I don't think the cheese might not be completely melted on that, but I honestly, I also think we should have put cheese underneath too. Yeah, I would put probably cheese underneath and on top. That'd be a little better, but there's no way I'm disassembling this at this point. You guys want to come on a little field trip with me? Oh, can you see him? I don't think, can you see him? One of our little mouse friends. Guys, there's like eight of them in there. I'm not joking. I think there's literally eight mice in here. He might get scared when I move stuff. But I think there's so many of them in there at this point that they all can't be burrowed. So we'll give him a little cheese. Or them a little cheese. I bet you there's 15 of them down there now. All right, back to business. That uh, that juice in there, <laughs> onion and uh, beef broth, probably liquid gold. I'm not gonna pour it on these because they're already so juicy and messy. But if you had a regular burger like a sane person, you would definitely want to drink this. All right, I'm gonna do a quick little taste test for you guys. I would sit down to have lunch, but <laughs> it's actually 6:30 p.m. It's dinner time, so I'm gonna finish this video and then get the rest of my food that I normally have, uh, just some bread and white bean puree. So we'll try the plain one first. And the plain one is something I could actually eat on my regular diet right now. Ooh, it's so hot. It's so hot. I'm surprised it hasn't completely fallen apart, but it wants to fall apart. That outer ring of onion, I think you gotta take an extra one off. Bro. What's the point of these things? One bite, and now you have ground beef with sautéed onions. Like, what is this? You take, it, guys, if you plan on eating this, don't, don't put it down after you take one bite out of it. Now I gotta eat this with a fork and knife. I was like, this is such a dumb recipe. This is gonna be such a pain to do with the onions. They stay together like this, but as soon as you take a bite out of it and break the onion ring matrix, it's ruined. The outer is so stringy, it doesn't fall apart. I'm burning my hands. It's pretty tasty though. But see, if you don't put it down, you're kind of okay. Kind of. Still not great. Still a mess. I think I think poaching the onion in the beef broth is the way to go. It stays moist. It adds a nice beefy flavor. It's not overpowering. And we can try the cheese one. I mean, obviously, yeah. Cheese is a little more enjoyable. You know what? Let's give you guys a bonus. Let's get some bread. <laughs> like, why not just have a plain burger, right? Can we even put this on the bread now that it's falling apart? It's just, it's just patty and onions, dude. It's just so stupid, dude. Just get some bread. Be reasonable. All right. This is delicious. And it doesn't fall apart. It's a little messy. So thank you guys for joining. I want to sit down and enjoy the rest of my lunch slash dinner. Uh, so you can go to frankiesrangemeat.com where you'll find the meat, the collagen broth, steak seasoning, salt, cheese, everything you need for this. And then Frankie's Range Foods. We have a lot of the other ingredients too. All the fats, all the seasonings are on there. But we also have like if you want to make bread with organic flour and stuff. And then you guys can check out all my other businesses on frankiesrangemeat.com. Uh, for the supplements you're going to need to take with this meal, <laughs> especially mastic gum and maybe some activated charcoal, all while wearing your Wi-Fi shielding clothing so you can digest this optimally. But yeah, that'll be it, guys. Just please drop a like, share the video. You know, I'm not feeling so good with my eyes and everything. It's kind of hard for me to want to make videos now. 
but uh, I still want to show you guys stuff like this, so we'll see you guys for the next video. Thank you.